welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. <laughs> you are fabulous. All right, guys. So today's video, this is a Dollar Tree fall DIYs video. I cannot wait for you guys to see all of these different items. They turned out absolutely fantastic. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so for this first one, I have got four of these little crates from the Dollar Tree along with three of these little cathedral windows. Now, the first thing that I did was get out some wood glue and I painted it onto the sides of each of the crates and then just simply glued them together. I used little clamps that I got at the Dollar Tree to hold it together while the glue dried. Now, once I had it together and glued, I took some elephant chalk paint by Waverly and I painted the entire thing front, back. Now, I did not paint the insides of each crate because I just felt like it was a waste of paint. You're not going to see down inside them, so I just left it like it was. Now, I pulled off the little, uh, like, sign that was on each of these windows, and it left behind some hot glue. So, once I got the sign off, I just took my heat gun and warmed up that hot glue and then was able to take it off. Now, once I had those like I wanted them, I painted those with the elephant chalk paint by Waverly. Every little nook and cranny, inside and out. Now, I've got Antique White by Apple Barrel and a chip brush. And what we're going to do is just simply dry brush each of these pieces pieces. And guys, they turned out so, so pretty. The combination of the elephant and then the contrast of that uh, lighter color, the antique white, is just gorgeous. I, I absolutely love it. So, I dry brushed all of the windows. I then began to dry brush my crates, which they dry brushed perfectly. Once I had everything painted and ready to go, I then began to glue hot glue on the windows to my crates. I we once again used my little clamps to hold them into place while the glue dried, but I just glued one onto each end, and then I waited and glued the third one directly in the center of the other two, so that way it would all be like even. I cut down some floral foam and tossed that into each of my crates, and then used some hot glue to glue them into place. Now, once I had that right, I cut down all of my florals and began to simply place them into the floral foam. Super duper simple, you guys. There's nothing to this. There's no rhyme or reason. Just put your florals in. Promise it's going to turn out perfect. So, once I had all of my florals in, guys, this is what it turned out to be. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. I have got one of these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Now, it is a metal pumpkin, like wire pumpkin, and it has this type of material all around it. I also have some beads that came from Timu. Now, I started off by taking the material off of my pumpkin. I strictly want that metal pumpkin that is on the inside, the form that's on the inside. Super simple to get off. Just snip it in a couple places and pull and you can get it right off. Now, I snipped the bottom end of one of those uh, wire pieces and started to put my beads on it. 
Very, very simple. Now, when I got to the end, when I had it completely full, I added some hot glue to the end of that bead and I glued it right back into place where it came from. Super, super simple, you guys. This is such an easy DIY. Um, I just continued to place beads on this wire form. I would snip it at the bottom, place my beads on, and then glue it back into place. So, so simple. And the hot glue worked totally fine for this project. Um, I added a little bit of twine to the stem and check out how stinking cute this pumpkin is. I also added one of those little votive candles to the middle and I just think it is adorable, you guys. Okay, guys, for this last one, I have got three of the pumpkin wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. Now, these are super thin, but you can make it work. I first mixed up some blue uh, paint that I wanted to use on one of the pumpkins, and I used elephant chalk paint and also a royal blue acrylic paint. That's the only two colors that I put in this, and it ended up turning out to be the prettiest, prettiest blue. That gray just absolutely made this color perfect. It was, it was exactly what I was going for. I'm also gonna be using sage, uh, antique white, and antique wax. So I painted my pumpkins, each a different color, one with the sage, one with the antique white, one with the blue. I then went back over them with the antique wax just to kind of contour them, give them those lines like a pumpkin has. Very simple. I then took some uh, leaves off of one of these picks from the Dollar Tree, and I just began to glue them to the tops of two of the pumpkins. No, actually, I did it to all three of the pumpkins. I just did the top one a little different, but I did glue down my, my leaves to the tops of my pumpkins, Super duper simple. I kind of embellished this top one a little bit with some of the berries um, from the Dollar Tree. And I also wrapped the top one with some twine to cover up the stem. Now, I added hot glue to the very top of each of the pumpkins and began to glue them together. I was making a pumpkin topiary. Now to hold this together and make sure that it is good and stiff and that it will stay straight, I added two paint stir sticks to the back, added a hanger, and check out how freaking pretty this is. It's actually very, very big too.
that is it for today. Thank you so much for being with me. I truly do appreciate you guys watching these videos. It gives me a lot of inspiration and I love making these videos for you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It totally helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being with me. And y'all have a blessed day.